it would have worked for yeah, him. Battlefield, this is like but they're, they're, yeah. One, so, like, right off the bat, <laughs> excuse me, team up danger wise, I'm team up the edge, but I think skill wise, we're in the right Yeah. It looks like this looks very backed up. So, whoa, wow, the very early. Ooh, yeah, like, so 11 like, seconds in, the speedrun strats with the uh, uh, village mascot here and showing why Link's a scumbag. Uh, Alright. <laughs> so. Red team with the player of the Yeah. Uh, let's just see what they do in order to come back. I mean, yeah. the game with the red team is they have a lot of projectiles. They have really good team synergy. Yeah. And I don't know if all this assault team is a lot. I think they're just going based on their skill to try to at least, you know, win some money. That's what I'm certain about. Yeah. But that's essentially what the blue team needs to do. Alright, here we go. We got a Zelda offstage. Oh, wait. One thing Meta Knight's really good at is um is their offstage game. This is off is like pretty much keeping stage control. Yeah. Like once you're off stage against Meta Knight, oh, you're good luck. This thing is not for me, so this is actually not a good move because Peach is a really heavy character. She should be holding her own. Yeah. She's died early twice. And, and here goes the third one. So this so, is pretty much all over for the blue team. Unless yeah. somehow they somehow uh, get, unless like, get turn of gimmicks. Yeah, unless Mascot or Risner somehow like just <laughs> Yeah, or, you know, they just say F it and F SD like two or three or four times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but if some, to somehow get a stitch base. Okay, that was good. That was a good combo right there. <laughs> Alright. I'm away. Away? Alright. Yeah. Away. Yeah. Barely or loud. Okay. Okay, so. Get back to the match. Yeah, I'm ready for something. Well, there you go. There you go. Some of that Meta Knight off game. Or off stage game. There's there, and there goes Peach. Are we gonna do a share, Scott? Yeah, it's on. Yeah. You kind of had no choice but to at this point. I mean, you're you're literally like three stock, you're double their stocks. All right, trying to stay off. All right, trying to stay away from prisoners. Uh, edge guarding. Nice tether and the up air. Yeah, that was a nice tether and up air. All right. So the most frustrating thing about the red team is, like I said, they have a really good uh, projectile game. Not to mention, a lot of their like projectiles can come up into like killing moves. Like a lot of times, you see like a down air or up air by Link, or you see like forward air back air by Zelda. It's really frustrating. Yeah. So, uh, all right, the dense fire sitting there. Uh, yeah, red team did a very good job. Yeah. Almost trying to just try to make work here. He's he's down by like six stocks. I mean, he, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of, I kind of see this game already over. Oh, there you go. That, that yeah. was a, yep. Well, another thing too is that mascot, and, mascot and prisoner team all the time. So, so yeah, they, they already have lots of team plays. Yeah, they already, you know, they they already pretty much have a team, a, a plan down, a team comp. They already know what each what each other do. There's a no, nope. inspire. Of course, mascot has to use because who cares? Yep, and oh, there you go. There's game one. Game one goes to red team. So, what do you think blue team needs to do to readjust? Well, first thing, salt needs to stop dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a given. So, but one, um, I think one of the things that they, I think one of the things that they really need to work on is try to get, is try to isolate a two v one situation. Oh, yeah. Try to get them into, try to get either prisoner or mascot. I would. Probably think if they can get mascot in the two v one situation, lock them down. Okay. They should be. Uh, I agree. That or like you know, because salt needs to be the one holding the stocks. And yes, salt so needs to go in and just do a lot of great stuff like there. Yeah, and, and that's what actually, and that's what was going on. That was kind of what's going on near the end. At the beginning, they were just like kind of helter skelter doing their, uh, you know, don't know what was going on. And it was showing, they were showing like that them being. A new team developing, like they just picked each other out of the blue today or something like that. That show versus yeah. mascot and Risner, they already had their thing. They already, they already knew what was going yeah. on. They was like, this is what's gonna happen. Yeah, and then, and then blue team needs to go for a small stage. Yep, yep. There you okay. go. So, so this should go better. But still, Mark has pretty some stuff in here. But we'll just see how this works out. Yeah, I think. Oh, and Ooh, there, oh, okay. Ooh, Ooh, mascot. 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 All right. Yeah. yeah. Can we? All right. All right. Mascot back. All right. Back off stage. But yeah, like I said, Sechi, you got Mark, and you got Full Mark, like on the same team. Yeah. Oh, Yoshi's story. This is a really good so, uh, team for, uh, for for the blue team. They can easily kill off the sides. Both of them can easily. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, as you can see, there's a range. I would say, at, like, I would say probably around 50 to 60 percent, even from uh, Village Mascot Link, he, a Nair would be enough to take him down. Alright, here we go. Or if it's like a multi based tip of Yeah. Yeah, this game is definitely going yeah. in a better direction. And there goes the Mascot taking the second side. Resident tried to save him, not really happening with the Empire. Alright, so. That's, so this is, this is a Ooh, that was really bad here. That was really backwards from the first game. Exactly. They, they, they did right by picking this stage, and that was, yeah, that yeah, was exactly what they needed. Also, I think, honestly, I'm surprised this stage didn't get banned from, uh, this stage wasn't banned. They yeah, probably, I'm surprised about that too. They probably thought that they can out, they can, uh, take out skill them, or, you know, just take them on. Well, would uh, kill him earlier than they expected to, but it's not really happening. It's actually showing that right now they have stock lead. Uh, unfortunately, Village Mascot took a very, very early SD. And then, and, and, so that's, uh, yep, and that's... Ooh, nice! Oh, that's nice it. That was good. Fumbles, uh, you know, showing why the stage was really good. This was a really good pick. Yeah, like, you know, he says he forced, he forced uh, Mascot to jump, and then he just brought his jump. Yeah. Yeah, also, like, Soft not dying as much, so definitely... <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was a, another thing. That was one major factor to that first game. So, yeah. Uh, losing, dropping stocks left and right within the first two minutes of the game. Yeah, well, in melee, like, Salt uses Peach and uh, Mark. And Peach has some minor differences that is different. I mean, I know Hanky doesn't have an issue with him, but, like, some Peach players just don't like Peach and uh, PM. Ooh, so, nice. Mark, it's really smart for him to go Mark, because, like, Mark is still the same, Yeah. Essentially. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's still pretty easy to transfer a melee peach to a PM peach, but it's even easier to do there's a just, melee Mark to a PM Mark. Yeah, there's still a nuance that that can come up. Yeah. Alright, so Village Mascot, oh, he, Almost he decided to, it. yep, decided to 2v1, uh, decided to 2v1, uh, uh, Meta Knight there, instead of trying to edge guard Mark. Yeah, good job, good job, my mascot. Two up uh, beat kills. Oh, oh no, Ooh, the wow. up. Ooh. Okay, oh, no. so now we're even on stocks, but they both have really high damage. A good nair from Fumbles will take oh. mascot out. Here we go, two v one. One situation. All right, there you go. Ooh, wow. Oh, they don't. There you hey, go. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. <laughs> so I obviously, you know, saw it on purpose to give you know Fumbles the extra jump there. <laughs> yeah, apparently. So besides towards the end, that was very solidly for uh, team's lead. Yes, that so was. Now if blue team, <laughs> blue team is smart. They're going to go for bigger stages. Uh, I don't know if they did any bans, but Dreamland looks still open. Um, I would say Dreamland, FD, mm, maybe Green Hill Zone. I uh, 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 yeah. I, I would say they're going to ban. They're going to ban FD, or they're going to ban uh, Dreamland. Dreamland looks banned, so that's okay. That was good. And then they're gonna go empty your PS2. Ishiro, is this three out of five? Oh wait. So we're trying to figure out this is three out of five. Yeah. This is actually pretty important. Yeah, because that will determine if it's only one or two bands. Yep. Okay, so this is three out of five. Is this semis? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is I don't know if this is. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, 3 out of 5 changes everything. Alright. Essentially, they get one ban. Yeah, you so get one ban, and what's now... what's gonna happen is, like, because you got FD, you got PS2 open. If they win on one of them, if someone they run it back to game 4, they're gonna ban the other big stage. Yes. So this is actually not what you go for. Blue has to win next to Gage in order to knock it out. Yeah, I think it's very, I think, it, um, yeah, if they don't win this game specifically, it's, they're gonna be in a really tight spot because that's, huh? Yes, yes. Ooh, okay, but we'll see, we'll see, we, there is always that oh, one. Oh no, Rizzo switched the cheek! Oh, oh no, got, okay, got the switch back, without a punish, or a slight punish right there. Alright. Yeah, so on paper, this is really good for a team, but we'll see how the match goes. Yes. Of course, one of those factors in game one was uh, Salt dying so much, so right now we haven't seen that yet, but maybe. Uh, right now, like, Fumbles carried the team on the back of the Yep. Alright, Fumbles with the. Uh, yep. 
promos with the stage control. Ooh, miss. Alright. Yeah, Mumble's like, as, as weird as he is, Mumble's actually not bad. Alright. Salt using the uh, Din's fire to help him get back on stage. Ooh. Oh, that was. That was really smart for Mumble. Like, Mascot laid a bomb there to try to, like, mess up in some way with uh, Meta Knight's option to punish uh, Zelda. The Mumble was like, no, it just grabs the bomb. Uh, grab the bomb. It's really funny. Nice oh, back nice air. That was a good back air. Mumble's just carrying the team right now. And that's, and that's like, dude, that's really how their team's supposed to be playing. Like, I think Marks is going to be the main supporter in this one, whereas Fumbles is just like, hey, I'm going to go ham and I'm going to wreck your face. If I get grabbed, please, Mark, come and, back, come and help me out. So, oh, all right. Seven to six. Um, looks like Blue Team might be on his leg for the next time. Yep, there we go. All right. All right, six to six. It looks like this is slightly... Yeah, and unfortunately, despite the fact how it was looking, the stock looks... The stock is completely opposite, whereas Marv should have been... Marv is the one usually out of the fray. He has the less least stocks, which... Well, actually, in this situation, I mean, it's really hard because both of them need to be aggressive. Then that can be, like, switching around. It's really hard. Yeah. Like, that's where, like, Marv has just a couple There you go. Good force smash. Like, that's where I think Marv is. I mean, he's good, but, like, he's really, like, both okay and teams. Yeah. Because there are so many other characters that do this job better. And then if he tries to like support. Alright, that was a good punish. Missed the, uh, uh, Bill's mascot. Uh, missed the up B. And then Fumbles punished him out of it. For that stock. Uh, Alright, here we go. We're about two and a half minutes in. I'm actually kind of surprised that the red team is not doing as well as they should be. Yeah, they're not. They're not. They're in the lead, but not by much. Like, actually, no, they're not even in the lead at all. Oh, so. No, no they're not in the lead. But, yeah. Yes. All right. So now we're stock, uh, stock even. All right. Fumbles is carry. Fumbles is definitely carrying. Stock tanking and everything. Stock tanking, doing damage. Took a, another. Stock got gimp. Yeah. Took a gimp. Uh. Like I said, Bumble's doing very good. Yeah. He's just going in, doing damage, and get out. Same thing. He's gonna try to kill the Grizzly. Oh, no. Like, yeah, if you... Yeah. It. Which is really smart, because then they can't share stock or anything. Like that. That's... Yep. There you go. Down to one stock. All right, so now hard. they... Now they can just take out Mascot, force it to 2v1, and close this out. Yeah, so Actually, they just go, yeah, they're just going for any open target, which was yeah, Rizzler at the moment. Alright. Ooh, okay. okay. Alright, down to- ooh, wow. And just like that, we're, we're getting close to the even slate, but they definitely have a lot of percentage on them, where both of them have zero percent. So it's still kind of leaning towards uh, Fumbles and Salt here. There he goes! Alright. Oh! Classic fumbles. Oh, oh, oh my okay. goodness, here we go. So what's gonna happen? So Space out that whole thing. Alright, so back in the like, So it's actually moving in multiple situations. And uh, Rizzer is actually like, very mediocre. So this is what happens. Oh, oh that was good. That, that was, was good. Salt. In the. So fumbles so. living up to his name. Fumbles fumbling and saw ended up taking it and was like, I got this, bro. Okay. I got this. So, game three, what's red team strategy? Red team strategy, ooh. I don't know, they're probably going to, they have to, they have basically, they have, they need to pick, they need to pick a stage where they can't die on the side so easily. That's so like, my personal following the dreams, I would not recommend going. Yeah, so I say FD, yeah. you're selling brawl. Yeah. Ooh, mascot going Diddy Kong. Oh, that's actually, no, that's actually really good. So she is essentially the, um, Diddy Oh, we're going to a Diddy Kong, okay. A drugged up sheep. So, like, this is actually really good for the red team. Because now they have Fireball game, and then also you got someone that can kill early. So this is actually yeah. really good. Of course, the only thing he's giving up is recovery. It is not that bad, honestly. Yeah, Mars from Safe Nation. 
Yeah, the only thing is, I think if Diddy Kong goes off stage, Fumbles will. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Fumbles can. Oh, that's not yeah, that's not Oh, oh no, 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 the turnaround. Oh, turnaround. Fumbles, dude. You need to calm that down, buddy. Oh, very nice. So I was about to go for it, then yeah. said no. Yeah. Mascot got his own banana back, what it looks like. Early death by Prisoner, but it's kind of unexpected. Like, Zelda actually struggles on the stage a lot. Almost trying to save yeah, Saw, even though Saw was already fine. Getting the back airs in. Missed that, uh, Mascot missing the next back air. Alright. Like I said, the game. Oh, nice. The good job, Fumbles, for saving your buddy. Oh, yeah. The entire game plan in this. Exactly. That was nice. That was beautiful. That was 76%. That was beautiful. That, like it was an up air. It was a fumble up air, fumble up air. It's a salt up air. It's a fumble up air for a kill. That was yeah. very beautiful. Oh, that was early combo right. fumbles. Okay, so this so, is a six to five. A red yep, okay, okay, now we're all right. We're back. Oh. Four to five stocks now. Oh, shit. I was totally <laughs> <laughs> right. same thing, like, essentially, Diddy Kong getting all the kills, Mad Knight trying to get all the kills, except so Fumbles is just rolling everything. Yeah. Good go. So, alright, did it? Alright, so, hopefully Fumbles uh, not being able to do the juggle that he was trying to get. The idea of a Fumbles, if he recovers, is it? Yeah. Mascot just chucks him off the stage. Here we go. A little juggle going on off stage game. And... Ooh, got him both. Yeah, got him. Alright. Stage control is definitely going to Fumble's Assault. Ooh, that oh was a nice catch. He almost dies. Good guy. Nice. Very nice. Not gonna leave, but that was cool. Yeah. Razor one stock. Alright. Mascot three stocks. Salt with two, Fumbles with one, hopefully Fumbles, hopefully Fumbles can do something with this, make his last stock count. Yeah, 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 I don't think he's going to share a stock if he dies, that's probably why he's playing Super Patriot. And, they're, oh, okay, we're doing a share stock, let's see if Fumbles can, now they're probably just going to go for uh, Salt. Prisoner, Prisoner. That's uh, best got second stock there. Yeah. Yep, uh, now it's a 2v1, 3 stocks, here we go. Okay, fumble, not, ooh, red stuff. Red, red, nice up here. Tried to, tried to do the shadow cape, but missing. That dense fire is just nasty. That blocks all your, that blocks a lot of your options, whatever. So, okay. so, Bumble needs to take out Prisoner, and then, I don't think it's gonna happen, but if Prisoner share stocks, Oh, uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, what I was trying to get at was that if Prisoner somehow dies and it shares stocks Diddy and then somehow gives Diddy, I think Fumbles could have won the two uh, 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 Yes. But it doesn't matter. So, here we go. go. Game five. Here we go. Famous so, game five. So let's this, talk about this. Is this so, winners or losers bracket? This is I mean, this is winners so. though. Okay. So so the Basically, question, yeah. So the question is, is um, so right now PS2 is out. PS2 uh, is out. They could probably go to Dreamland. Did they go to Dreamland already? No. Well, keep in mind that Blue Team, Blue Team's picking. Oh, Blue Team is picking. Never yeah. mind. Okay. Yeah, and also like mascot with Diddy. So the question is, is he gonna like go back? Uh, like, gonna stay Diddy. That was very effective. That was that. that was a very good Diddy like. Well, the stage. Yeah, yeah, but the stage, yeah, it had a definite had a definite impact on uh, his play, and then also fumbles, fumbling up two stocks. Uh, so honestly, like it's really the blue team. Their losses is because one salt was goofing up, and then the second game they lost was because fumbles was goofing up. Yeah. So. I don't know, they have a solid team, they just need to stop dying. <laughs> Pretty much.
FD. Game 5. Nice help on this. Ooh, Diddy might have an advantage on this one, right? Uh, I think... I think, uh, Mascot and Resner I have an advantage on this stage. In my personal opinion, their, their team comp is better on FD. I can agree with that. So the question is, but, why, why did, uh, FD take it to the stage? Maybe because of Marv. Maybe because Marv can actually play well on this stage as well, but I uh, think, I don't know. I really don't know why. I love I, I think what, I think Marv was a lot Exactly, like they they can they can poke them out real quick. Uh, they can poke them out real easily. Wow. Sac sacrifice stock, which not good for them, which was not good for them because they were already a stock behind. Yeah, Oh, oh almost good. With, with, with a great recovery. Rizner pumped up that uh that yeah, that stage uh, edge guarding. Alright, here we go, the juggles. Mark was like, Mark was like, let me take care of this. Alright, yeah, this is Mrs. This Shadow Cape. And alright, mascot took the uh take a stop. Oh the wow, why'd you charge that for so long, bro? No, like no. Diddy had to charge his recover and essentially like Mark was just there waiting for his match. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, and then really also, yeah, because he charges so long, he he tagged Rizner and stage spiked him too. All right, here's that mess up. By yeah. the so, fortune. Uh, well, fortunately, they're still stuck ahead, even though they did that club up. Here goes the juggles, missed the shadow. Loop. Very nice. Ooh, watch that barrel. <laughs> yeah, that barrel, barrel was. Barrel a... Oh, it doesn't. Well, it oh. does, but like it doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah, I remember previously that in the edge guard. Good edge yeah, I remember previously that. Oh, so, okay. so uh, I think this so, is pretty. Uh, I won't say it's over yet, but it's looking. It's now over. Yeah. yeah so but you, but you put that very smart. Because, like I said, um, because essentially, um, Red Knight is a floating mark. Yeah. And so Mark also has good range on the sword. I think they're trying to get some base to throw out their swords. Uh -huh. and kind of a pressure them. Uh, it is what happened. Rizzer getting a cheap guard on top, but I don't think it matters that much. Yeah. It's, unless they both like SD ones, then it might start to matter, but 115. And I. Bumble's freaking happy. And. Woo! There you go. That was good. And so there you go. Uh, Game Bumble's and Salt.